We fight our way up towards Bremen. We see some towns absolutely flattened, you know. You know all these artillery just flattened houses and different buildings and all that. And we're just outside Bremen. We're nearly there. We're getting to these positions, trenches, what are already Germans already dug. We get into them, hiding them. And we're hiding in them. And there's a road on our right hand side. And we spot two Germans coming towards us. Coming towards the trench. So we wait for them. Coming round this edge and we're up and shouting them to put down your weapons! One of them's running. Running like the blazes downfield. And then there must be a, a dozen of us firing at him. And none of us, none of us hit him. The other chap, he's putting his hands up like. Next day, silence. All quiet, all quiet. Whether the one who escaped told about us, we'd be up this end, I don't know, but uh, suddenly we're getting this barrage of artillery on us, firing on us, bang, 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 firing on us, bang, 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 firing, firing, on and on and on, firing rockets and Nebelwerfers scream as they're coming through, putting the fear of God in a smoke, noise, explosions, like fireworks, noise, 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 going up all around me and the explosions are making me, make me... Met me. A bit do lolly, you know? My mum receives a letter. Infantry Record Office, 2nd of May, 1945. Infantry Records, Perth. Dear Madam, Number 1469-3549, Private Cook, Kenneth Basil, Island Light Infantry, have to inform you that the private, above named soldier, was reported missing, kidnapped, prisoner of war, in Western Europe, April 1945. Silence. I turn up in a transit hospital with shell shock, what they later call post-traumatic stress disorder. The discharge doctor takes one look at the scars along my back and leg from my previous injury and he tells me, you should never have been sent back, son. He says, you should never have been sent back out there. People say we're heroes when we come back. We're not. The lads over there, the ones who never came back, they're the heroes. <laughs>